leadership on this, you know, is uh, change, change the country. I, I really appreciate that, Mr. President. It's really been an honor for me to be involved in this fight and to have been able to, you know, fight for my marriage and live up to my commitments to my husband. A local man at the center of an historic decision on marriage equality receives the news he's been waiting a long time for. And a thank you directly from the president. Evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. The U.S. Supreme Court today says same-sex marriage should be allowed across the country. Local 12's Larry Davis was at the Hamilton County Courthouse where couples exchanged vows just hours after the decision. Hi, Larry. Hi, Sydney. And it was within minutes of that decision that the first couple applied for a marriage license in Hamilton County Probate Court. In fact, the two women told me they were in the elevator going up to the office when they received the official word. This afternoon, history was made. Please repeat after me. I, Jacob K. Bennett. I, Jacob K. Bennett. To my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Bennett Stewart and Jacob Tuma made history today. They became the first same-sex couple to marry in Hamilton County. Municipal Court Judge Bernie Bouchard presided. Jacob, I give you this ring. Jacob, I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Finally, we're on the right side of history with the rest of the world. It seems like I'm completely overwhelmed right now. Uh, I, I'm not typically very emotional at all, and so it's completely... This is a travesty. But Charles Tassel with Citizens for Community Values says the Supreme Court ruling was all wrong. First, he says, CCV contends marriage is between one man and one woman and says two justices should have never been allowed to have a say on the issue. You've got um, Kagan and Ginsburg, which actually went out, performed same-sex unions, and then sat there and ruled on it. That is a violation of every known judicial canon. But it was a big day for others like Siobhan Silas and Kiara Krigler, the first to get a marriage license. Evening. Number one. <laughs> yeah, it is. And for Crystal Zimmer and Lena Williams, they were the second to be married. We have a good chance to get <laughs> wedding dresses or suit tuxedos. So I'm just really, I'm just, I'm just really, I can't believe all this is happening. For Bennett and Jacob, it had been more than a year since they were engaged. Their wait ended today. I now pronounce you spouses for life. Here you kiss your husband. And Sydney, a lot of people are celebrating the Supreme Court ruling on same-sex marriage tonight. Bennett and Jacob say that they will keep it low-key by having a bottle of champagne and watching some movies. Live in the newsroom, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Sydney, back to you. Congratulations to them. Thanks so much, Larry. And here's a look at how the Supreme Court vote broke down. Justice Anthony Kennedy was the crucial fifth vote in favor and wrote the majority opinion. Chief Justice John Roberts, Antonin Scalia, Samuel Alito, and Clarence Thomas dissented. Our coverage of today's decision and its impact on the tri-state continues live at 6 when we'll hear from local couples who wasted no time making their unions official.